Well, hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You call me Shay for sure. Today, we are going to be doing the most disrespectful moments in anime history number five. I'll be a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. So, hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Come on. Let's... So, he brings this man to the fight. So, then he says, All right, my boy, class is in session. Today, we will be learning how to beat an oh, ass so 101. I would like to thank our volunteer right here. Uh, I don't even know his name, but he will be used as a demonstration today. I beg your pardon. Come on. No, no, no. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time for another installment of the most disrespectful moments in anime history. The series that we observe some of the most outrageous, most outlandish moments to ever be seen by the human eye. That just make you look at the screen like, well, goddamn, mm -hmm. what did they do to make them make this that mad? So, without further ado, roll them. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. First up to the plate is Sukuna being a dog. So Itadori and Fushiguro are fighting this ugly ass boy. What the f is that? I had Jesus no, I, Christ, bro, I had no idea what I saw it. So Itadori tells Fushiguro, all right, listen, bro. I'm just gonna have to let that doll come out. So fuck what you heard. It's what you hear. And Sukuna comes out and he's like, hey, what's good with you, cuh? So the curse bags up and he's like, ah, oh, hell no. Nah. Who is this thug ass? Nigga? So then he starts talking to him like, boy, I tell you, boy, you ugly as sh the f you supposed to be a fish, a barnacle nigga. So he jumps back and starts charging up. Is that a Hadouken? So Brad shoots it, but he just stops it with one hand. Bitch, please. <laughs> then he looks at him and says, you ugly lip motherfucker. Boy, I oughta to beat your ass. So Brad just face planted him into the ground. Then he starts looking at him like, damn, cuz the fade just started and your ass already on the ground. Nigga, you best get your sorry ass up. Yo, dog stepped on him. So then he tries to grab him, but he rips his arm off. Who said, damn, boy, that gorilla grip done backfired on your ass. And yo, he is laughing while he is doing this. Yo, this man is a demon. So later on, while he is continuing to torment this thing, the curse comes down and starts laughing at him. So then he starts looking at him like, why you got that big ass grin on your face? You think shit is sweet or something? Goof ass, boy, I'll show you what's sweet. So then he hits him with the domain expansion. Bruh. Dog oh, boy, turn this man into a fish fillet cooked well done. So then he says, all right, little nigga, you can come back out now. Hello, can you hear me, nigga? But then he gets no response, so he's like, <laughs> So about a... <laughs> Bro, I'm being dead serious. When he said that in that anime, when he said that in Jujutsu Kaiser, I was just like, oh my God. And then he's like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I thought it was only going to split you in three parts. And it split you into five. I was like... Damn. Lady, he pops up right behind Fushi Girl. So he's like, what's good, what? cuz? Just to let you know, I'm about to beat your ass. But before I beat your ass, I'm gonna eat this crusty ass finger. Mm -mm -mm. The flavors are melting on my tongue. Wish I had a little bit of salt on the door. I ain't gonna lie to you, my boy. Now, time to beat your ass. So Fushi Girl Weep. starts swinging, Weep. but look at this man. He is weaving Weep. all of his punches. Weep. He's here in his pockets oh nah bro that's how you know you're done when the nigga don't even want to take his hands out so he keeps on punching so sukuna's like damn boy you can't hear shit come on now put your back into it oh boy gave him the backhand of the century so fushi girl trying everything he trying to jump him with the snake the owl he just eating it oh my god so then he comes back down, grabs him, and he says, come on now, there's a whole world out there we got to see, nigga. Yo, bro, check his whole body. He said, a whole new world. <laughs> then bro starts playing ping pong with him. Boom. Bro said, come on now, get your sorry ass up. So as this man is flying through the buildings, the owl comes in and picks him up. He right behind him, and he like, boy, that ugly ass knocked out, set your ass down. <laughs> This is after this nigga plunged his own hand into his chest and ripped out the heart and been like, I don't need that. Your homeboy needed to survive, not me. I was like, oh my God, this nigga is a savage. Good God, that beating didn't even make any sense. 
He just beat this man for just for absolutely no reason at all. <laughs> oh my God, yo, this man is disgusting. Yeah, when the rest of this manga gets animated, homeboy is most definitely getting a full video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up on the list is Gojo's PowerPoint presentation. So while bro is on the way to go meet the principal, he tells the driver, yo, stop the car. So as the dude leaves, Gojo he says, so all right, hot. you could come out now. So then this ugly ass boy come from the top rope. Then dog said, what's good, Nyako? Get ready to become a pack. So he started throwing out everything. Bro threw some fat ass mosquitoes at him. He came from the side and made him Ghost Rider. And then he decided to hit him with a gut check. So then after all that, bro is squeaky clean. He has taken no damage at all. So Volcano Head like, huh? What type of hacks you got? So then Gojo's like, you realize you cannot hit me, right? So you then he says, come here, me. don't be shy. Come a little closer, touch yes. my hand. Okay, 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 let me explain. So he tries to touch his hand, but he can't. Dog's like, huh, the f is this? So then Gojo's like, you feel that? This is called my infinity, AKA my plot armor. So do you want to know what you are, buddy? You're fodder. <laughs> Good God, bro, gut check the life out of this man. <laughs> then dog said, hold on, I ain't even done Don't yet. Bitch oh, ass nigga. Yeah. Then he says, oh, you really thought you was going to sneak me and get away with it? <laughs> got out of my face. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. Dog sent them flying and look at him. He dragging that nigga down. I was like, get your bum ass out of my sight. Look at him. He dragging his dirty ass through the ground. Then he tries to hit him with a gallic gun. Then he comes from behind and he's like, well, if you don't sit your goof ass down. Oh, my God. Bro is gone. So then Gojo's like, oh, this is a perfect time. So this man leaves, goes and sees Itadori, and he's like, yo. Do you want to watch me beat this nigga's ass? Huh? So he brings this man to the fight. So then he says, all right, my boy, class is in session. Today we will be learning how to beat a nigga's ass 101. I would like to thank our volunteer right here. Uh, I don't even know his name, but he will be used as a demonstration today. I beg your pardon? The, the best is the, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. A sexy blindfold ass nigga. I, I love him. But the best thing, like, before he even says all of this, before he even does all this, the most gangster part is like this dude comes up to him while he's like after after he gets dropped off by the car, he comes up to him and he's like, "Hey yo, y'all special types ain't even that special if y'all motherfuckers keep showing the fuck up." And then he gets proceeds to beat this nigga's ass. I was like, "I'm dead. Let's go." I was like, "You mother, hey, stop playing with my name, nigga." But then Gojo's like, <laughs> "Your name." Buddy, you are weak. You're trash. I bet you half of the people that watch this show don't even know your name. <laughs> to be honest with y'all, I don't even remember his name either. Hold I on, hold on. Let's look him up real quick. Volcano Head in JJK. Jugo? Jogo? Yeah, let's just go with Jugo. All I know is he looked like Squidward when he had the volcano on his head. <laughs> that is a known fact. <laughs> but anyway, bro got pissed. He was like, stop playing with my name. Nigga, when my name come up, respect it. So then he uses his domain expansion and he done turned this bitch into Bowser's castle. So then Gojo's like, all right, Thank Yuji, God. pay close attention. So bro takes off the blindfold fuck. and hits him with the domain expansion. Oh. Beautiful nigga void. Nigga, yes. So bro's like, oh, what is this? Pause, but who is this beautiful ass nigga? Exactly. But then Gojo comes behind him and he's like, you know, man, it sucks being ugly. Trust me, I get it. Well, actually, I don't, I don't. get it. Because <laughs> I'm beautiful. But uh, exactly. let me put you out of your misery. <laughs> Bro, he just ripped his head off with one hand. And to add to the disrespect, he stomped on his head. Like, dog, the fact that he basically used this man as a punching bag to be an example after he just tried to sneak him and he left mid-fight? <laughs> Bro, that's disgusting. No, he's, he's too sexy. I love him too much. Oh, my God. Blindfold me, nigga, anytime. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Our mm. next moment 
It's more JJK. This actually would have been a Jujutsu Kaisen special if the last one wasn't JJK. But anyways, Toto beating the absolute brakes off of Fushiguro. Now you see, this moment isn't just disrespectful, nah. This is also one of the most down bad horrendously moments to ever exist. Yes. So Toto and my pull up I and love, they talking mash. My said, heard your classmate died. Tell me, how hard did that pack hit? So then Toto walks up to Fushi Girl and he says, Hey boy, what's your type? Depending on the answer that you give me will determine if I beat the shit out of you or not. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> this has to be one of the most wildest things I've ever heard come out of somebody's mouth. This is determined to run this man's fade if he does not like the exact same girls that he likes. So then he's like, come on now, speak up. How you like him, nigga? I like him tall with a fat ass boy. Come on now, I ain't waiting all day. So he's like, I, uh, I like, I like as person. long as she has good character, she's a 10. I fucking. Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. Bruh, I, I'm with this nigga. I am so with this nigga because I hate when I ask a nigga what they type is and then they be like, oh, it's about their personality and everything else. You can't see their personality from across the fucking room, my nigga. This is this is why I'm coming up at and people are gonna be like, well, Shay, uh, uh you taking it too serious? No, because being a, I am most of my homeboys, wing girl. So you telling me that you like a bitch's personality is not helping me the fuck out. I know you like her personality, but what physical attributes do you like? Do you you need a girl with a pretty smile? Do you need a girl with big a big ass? Do you need a girl with big tits? What do you, what does physically attract you to the girl that you want? Like I know guys who don't like who who like a girl who's like a surfboard on the front. They don't give a shit about boobs, but they she needs to be she needs to be a J Lo mixed with a centaur in the back. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what your type is so I can actually help your ass out and find a girl rather than, well, I like her personality and I bring over a bitch who has a whole bunch of personality, but but she don't fit your criteria in the face, in the hips, or in the waist. And then you're going to be like, well, I don't, I don't really like her because, you know, I, I want only date brunettes. Like, nigga, you got to tell people what your actual type is. Little stupid bitch. It's about to go back. Get your ass beat. He deserves. So then Toto's like, damn, bro, you got bad taste, huh? So he blitzes this man. Good God, the clothesline from hell. Then he walks up to him and says, I knew it. Just by first glance, you a bitch ass nigga. So Fushi Girl pulls out these frogs, but bro flash steps and takes them to Suplex City. Oh Boom. This is so then he starts pummeling him. He's like, fight back, nigga. You got bad taste and you sorry as hell. So then he grabs his face and slams him into the wall. He's like, hold on, little boy. I ain't done yet. He starts lifting this man up through the entire building. Good God. Yo, this is just brutal. So he's like, come on now, fight back, little boy. So as he's about to hit him again, Toge has to come in and hit him with the chill out, chill out. Then Panda come in and he like, yo, what are y'all doing? Then Toto says, his taste is trash. Let me beat his ass. But he's like, ah, forget it. But next time I see your chest, your taste better change, boy. Yo, the panda, fact panda, that panda, this man panda. Toto almost beat this man Fushi Girl to death because his taste in woman is bad. Like, uh, what? Bro basically took your waifu is trash to the extreme. Uh, I, I'm just at a loss for words. Bullshit. No, I'm not at a loss for words. That is for all wing women and wing men that have to deal with that bullshit answer. He spoke up for all of us because no one, you cannot see that bitch's personality from across the room. We need to know what your actual type is to help you become unsingle. Man, I'm with you, my nigga. He deserved that ass whooping. I don't give a fuck. You got a problem? Put it in the comment section. But Shay Too Sweet endorses this ass whooping. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our final moment, probably if not one of the most disrespectful moments in anime history, Perfect Cell Violating Vegeta. No. Lord have mercy, what can I say about this one? This needs no explanation. But you know what? First of all, these two buffoon ass niggas. Let's start off with this cocky bastard. That's.
wait before before you lay into my baby he has a reason that he is that cocky he has a reason why he is like that okay i don't i don't need anybody to say shay no he has a reason Oh, you want to know the reason? Don't worry about it. Saying Pryor really had to kick in in full gear, huh? Bro, really let this man go absorb 18. And he was attacking trucks, the only person with common sense during this entire moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dog, bro. You deserve to get your ass handed to you. Oh, and don't think I forgot about this bald bastard. You had one job. But you got one little smooch, one little <laughs> puck on the cheek, and you was whipped into some cyborg coochie. Bro said, F the earth, she bad as hell. <laughs> man, oh man, did these decisions come to bite y'all in the ass. So after Cell absorbed 18 and became perfect, bro is just glorified by himself. Man, this is on narcissist level 100. And look at Vegeta, dumbass. Wow, he looks less intimidating. God, I thought we already learned this lesson with Frieza. When they look less intimidating, they're strong as f so then Krillin goes in and attacks this man. And bro ain't even paying them any attention. Man's is like, wow, 18 really had feminine hands. Then Trucks came in and started attacking him. And he is still paying them no attention at all. Then he ate the Destructo disc. Then he turns around and he's like, so you want to play little nigga? I right, then witness perfection. Look at him. He's skipping to him. Then he gets up in his face and he's like, boo. Then bro breaks his neck. And he is out cold. And look at him, he's like, ugh, weak ass nigga. 16, you wanna do something? Yeah, that's right. Stay your big ass right there. So then here comes Vegeta. Aww. So he's like, all right, I see you got that perfect jawline and everything now. So you ready to scrap? Then Cell says, ugh, I guess you'll be a decent warm up. So Vegeta just starts throwing everything, but bro is just blocking it. Bro's like, my, my prince, you're gonna have to do a little more than that to make me try now. So then Vegeta hits him with this kick, and he's like, yeah. I did that. <laughs> so I was just looking at him like, really? Trash ass boy. So Vegeta's like, huh? What is this? And Cell's just laughing at him like, <laughs> and you came up with that corny ass name called Super Vegeta. Now let me show you how to throw a kick. So You're not dealing with the average Cell. He's rose above the legend. <laughs> the legend that you fear. Baby deserved this ass beat, but I be like, I still am a Vegeta fan. I'm still a Vegeta fan. I cannot help it. He kicks Ooh. the life out of this man. Look at him, he's flying through mountains. And then he just falls into the ocean. So Cell just starts talking. He's like, wow, you was talking all that good shit a second ago. Now look at your sorry ass. So then Vegeta does personally my favorite attack in anime. And he starts oh. charging up the final flight. And Cell is just standing there watching him do it. Bro's looking at him like, man, you're putting on a great light show, buddy. This rival's Disney World's fireworks show. So then Vegeta just starts calling to him. Cell, you bitch ass. If you think you hot, then stay your ass right there. So Cell's like, I oblige. So then Vegeta hits him with the final. And look at me like, oh my God. Oh. Still to this day, I wonder, what poor planet did that blast end up landing on? So everybody's like, oh my God, he's done it. Father's done it. So he blew off half of Cell's chest. So Cell says, ugh, he actually hit me, damn it. So Vegeta's like, yes, I did it. I am him. So while Vegeta keeps on laughing, Cell says, stop laughing, damn it. Like for real, stop laughing. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God, bro. It's just a look on his face that gets me every time. Help me. Help me, nigga. So it says, did you forget that I had Piccolo cells as well, you dummy? So then Vegeta just losing it. He just starts spamming Keyblade. But <laughs> well, we all know when Vegeta resorts to using this spam Keyblast move, it's over. So Cell just walks through it and just slaps him. 
So he kicks him to high heaven and hits him with the spike. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, the winner is I went to college. <laughs> Grass. <laughs> I still love so. Well, that was the most disrespectful moments in anime history five. Basically a JJK special with a little DBZ dab in there. I will have a poll on my Twitter and my IG later to see if y'all want homie right here on the table. I could either add him now or wait till the next art gets animated, which I've already. So that was the most disrespectful moments of about you by CJ the champ. Do I think do I think Vegeta deserved to get his ass beat? Yes, on that occasion, of course. Do I think Vegeta deserved to get his ass beat on most occasions? Of course. But but at the same time, he's still my favorite character and I still fucking hate Kakarot. Uh I don't give a shit. But again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for sure. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my first channel. We do nothing but like anime content over here. Subscribe to my second channel. That is all movies and movie reviews. And we do have a third channel coming up. But that's going to be all gaming. But I'll tell y'all about that later. Again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always says, so long. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. Dress up. Darling, if you gon' spin out them close to me, uh Bring out the can, would you post me, uh What would you do to get close to me, uh I blow the flowers, that's perfect I hit it once in this wedding I hit that ass in the back of the Chevy Bust up a bag, she let me Then blow the gas, like we at the Getty She like, you gotta